How's it going, goons? You might notice that something's a little bit different today. Believe it or not, this is not a video on college football. While the college football revamp team has been doing incredible work, there's been another team uh, kind of lurking in the dark. It is March Madness Legacy. They have been working on a mod for the EA Sports NCAA Basketball 10, and they've just released their version 1. Just like College Football Revamped, the March Madness Legacy team has a very similar goal and just kind of updating the graphics packages that were in the original game. We haven't had an NCAA basketball game for a really long time, so they are very out of date. But uh, this team might have a little bit more work since there's like 300 teams in this game. I don't know if they plan to do all of them, but I do know that they plan on doing a large majority of them. Now this version one has done a couple of things to change the presentation and has fixed some issues with the dynasty in this game. But the big thing is the teams that they have updated. Uh, right now they did four conferences in their version one update, the ACC, the American, the Big East, and the Pac-12. So there is a lot to work with already, and that's updating the courts and the jerseys, including the alternate jerseys available. Now, currently, this is only available on the PC with the RPCS3 emulator. I think that there might be some workarounds to kind of get it to work a little bit on the PS3, but as far as I'm aware, there is no support for the Xbox version of the game. Thanks to some work from the Operation Sports community as well, there is uh, some updated rosters with 83 teams. And that is over a thousand players edited. And alongside the roster is a nice slider set that has also been created by a user in the Operation Sports community. Now, one thing that I wish was a feature in the game, but I don't know if they can change it, is when you go into the uniform selection right off the bat, uh, well, it looks a little bit rough because it shows the old jerseys for the home and away. The alternate is... Uh, an update so if you kind of want to get a gist of the difference between what the uniforms used to look like and what they look like now that is the uh an option uh but if you just like look at that oh so fantastic uh just like the college football revamp team i am so impressed with these guys and what they were able to do uh so let's load into the game and we can see just uh how it looks and, and how great of a job they've done Now, unfortunately, there are some things out of their control, but this is the current court uh, for the Oregon Ducks at uh, Matthew Knight Arena. Uh, but unfortunately, the game still thinks it's Matt Court. Uh, but the CBS presentation continues to look good. And with the rosters from the Operation Sports community, uh, I mean, it's like we're playing uh, NCAA Basketball 2022. And surprisingly to me i would say that the game runs really really well on our pcs3 um so it's you know a possibility that we could play this game uh there is a dynasty mode in this game if you guys are interested in us potentially doing a, a dynasty take a, a t or think through the teams again acc american big east and pac 12 are done so far and let me know in the comments, both of you want to see some NCAA basketball. But then also, nice three there, uh, also what team we would want. So, I don't know. I think it looks great. I think that we could have a lot of fun with this. Uh, but it's up to you guys. And again, big ups to the uh, March Madness Legacy team because this is such a fantastic job. And they've, just like the CFB revamp team, they've brought alive a, a game. Except this one's what four years older this game i think was came out in 2009 that's absolutely incredible just will richardson drilling threes out here installing this mod is incredibly easy once you download it from the march madness legacy website which is marchmadnesslegacy.com or from their discord both of those will be linked in the description below you simply drag and drop some files into your rpcs3 folder and then launch the game and you're good to go. There are, of course, some things that you can do. So if you search through the Discord uh, or search on YouTube, there are good custom configurations for the specific game in the emulator to help it run more smoothly. 
but once you get it going, it's just so smooth and it, it brings new life to an old game. And I mean, there's a lot of love for NCAA football. Uh, it's nice to see it for NCAA basketball as well. The full list of teams with updated courts and jerseys in this version one. This is going to be a, a long string of names, so try to pay attention. Maybe listen to, for your team. Uh, but it's Boston College, Clemson, Duke, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Louisville, Miami, NC State, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Pitt, Syracuse, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, Cincinnati, Temple, South Florida, UCF, Wichita State, Houston, Memphis, Tulsa, SMU, Tulane, East Carolina, Seton Hall, Butler, Villanova, Georgetown, Providence, Xavier, Marquette, Creighton, St. John's, DePaul, Yukon, Oregon, Utah, Arizona State, Colorado, Cal, USC, Arizona, Washington State, UCLA, Stanford, Oregon State, and Washington State. That is a lot of teams, but there are so many more to go. And the bigger this gets and the more people that can get on board and help these guys uh, in their mod creation, I'm curious to see the things that could be done. You guys all know how crazy big uh, college football revamped has gotten. So I'm just so curious to see what March Madness Legacy can become. Again, let me know in the comments uh, by leaving a like on this video if you want me to maybe start a short little series on this game. I would love the opportunity to kind of change things up and it kind of seems like college basketball uh, and especially with kind of a revamp style mod would be a great way to do it. Unfortunately, that is going to be the end of this video. A short one, but a nice introduction to the mod. And I think just like revamped, we'll be doing update videos when every version of March Madness Legacy comes out. Again, though, thank you so much to the March Madness Legacy team for creating this mod. Uh, just like with the CFB revamp team, they've done an incredible job. And then also, thank you to users on Operation Sports for keeping the game even more alive with updated rosters uh, and great slider sets. If you haven't already, please feel free to like the video. It helps them tremendously in getting seen by other potential viewers. And then if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe so you can be notified when new March Madness Legacy videos come out. After that, you can head down to the description where, again, uh, we'll have links to MarchMadnessLegacy.com as well as the March Madness Legacy Discord. There will also be links to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Goonmaster, as well as links to my Twitter and our community Discord. All that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're as excited about this mod as I am. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later. Adios.